Hey, it's Robert Davis back with you. Thanks for spending this time with me. Hey, what I'm going to do is take you step by step uh, through the import um, application building so that you can see pretty much everything that's done as I do it. So let's get right into it. We'll create a new Windows VCL app. And there we have it. Let's just go ahead and rename that for now. We're going to call this SM Import Sample Program. And there you see the new caption. Let's style this baby. I like to do that right off so I don't forget. Because I don't like that standard appearance. I'm going to use diamond. I like that. Here's a preview if I can show you. Yeah. Here's a preview. This is what the diamond UI looks like for the style. We'll save that. Now you see when we run this, it's a, it's a much prettier design than the standard Windows look and feel. Okay, let's get right into it. First, we need data. This is an import operation to import records into the um, database. So let's run down here to uh, dbgo. That's our ADO connectivity. And we'll put an ADO connection. You always need that. And an ADO table. You always need that. Let's go up and get the data source control too. We need to spread these out a little bit so they're not overlapped. And let's set our connection. There we go. We'll build it with this wizard. We want the Microsoft Jet 4.0 OLEDB provider. Next, find our database. Um, I'm going to use my family tree database. Get rid of this so it doesn't ask you for a login. Test the connection. Good to go. Close that. Close that. And turn this login prompt off. Let's connect. Good. Okay. Uh, on our ADO table, we need to set its connection. No, we don't want that. Sorry. <clears throat> ADO connection one. We'll just go with the naming defaults. Pick the table, the main table. And let's see if we can connect that. Yes, we can. And then this simple data source object just needs to set the data set to ADO table one. Okay, when you have data like that, you need to display it, of course. So we're going to put a DB grid on here. And uh, let's give this a little space. That's fine. I'll give it a little more. That's fine. And we need a standard button. And let's put that up here. Or we'll recaption this to simply import. Now, when we're going to import data, what we need is 
the import wizard dialog. It's right here at the top of SM import. So we'll get that. Put that off up there. Now, what you want to set, what you have to set for this to work, is your data set. And you can see all these other properties uh, born on prom. And that's usually pretty good to do. This is the version that I have. And see all the stuff you can do with it. It's great. Uh, it it uh, commits every 300 records. Here's all the different file types that it can import from, different formats. And if you want to control that to the end user so that, I don't know, say for instance, you only want them to be able to import an access database. Well, you can turn everything off, but um, this one, you can uncheck everything but this one and it'll work for access databases only here's more of the properties you see and no oh, we're talking about this um, we need to set the search uh, folder for the uh, SM import files. So let's go to options. We'll go to Delphi compiler and we'll go to search path and we'll set that in. Let's click this one here. We'll go to studio. SM import, select that folder. That's where all the DCs and things are at. And then add that. Okay. Let's we'll save that. Um, also, <coughs> we set the data source data set here. Let's set it to the grid too. We have to do that. Data source one. And you see the records are populated. I'm going to see if I can. Uh, I can't narrow this down. Let me see if. No, I don't want to go through the, all that. <clears throat> so, you see, we got records. Lots and lots of records. And the thing to do to make this work, that's all you have to do is this. Double click on the import button and put SMI wizard TLG1 execute. There you have it. It's as simple as that. Okay, let's run this and see what we've got. Here we go, our nice record set. I think we can narrow this down at runtime, yeah. I'll do that just for just for fun. And there's more out to the right. As you can see, there are lots more. Just keeps going. Okay. So the objective here is to actually execute the import. So we'll do that. You get that SM 
I wizard dialogue. This is what you get. It's all set up for you. You don't have to do anything else. And notice also, too, how nice it is that it takes on the same style as your your basic application. So let's pick the access database. And we'll pick a different database. Um, we'll look at documents, Barcadero, Studio, Projects, <clears throat> and uh, Final Family Tree Project. And family tree MDB. Got to select a table if there's more than one, which there is in this. Then click next. You can do the auto mapping button. See, so auto map the parsed fields. You can do that. Oh, I don't use that. Another thing to do is when you're over here and you get your destination table and your source table fields, you've got to turn off the ID and the source so you're not, because uh, they won't they won't import because ID is an auto increment field. Okay, so next, there's a sample of your data and we want to append Add the records. Let's execute. Look at that. There we go. Um, let's see, that's 4,409. Let's do this one more time. You don't have to reset everything. That's a good feature, too. Just uncheck this. Uh, blank out that source ID field. Next, 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 execute. Okay, let's go back down here and see we have 400, 471, 4,471 now. Anyway, it's just that simple. Uh, these components have been around a very long time. I've used them in other jobs and now I own them. Thankfully. And uh, I've already implemented both import and export into the application that I've been working on for several weeks now for the family tree and that's why I use those databases. So uh, um, you can download a trial of the import and export suites of components, uh, if you like, from scalabium.com. That's S-C-A-L-A-B-I-U-M.com. And they have some very helpful people there. Really good. And uh, these will really add value to your applications that you develop. It will save people so much time. <laughs> Not to mention you. It will save you so much time. Could you imagine writing all this stuff? This stuff's been around for a long, long time. Anyway, let's just show you that one more time. We've got everything we need. Turn that off. And let's just jump to the end. Uh, let's delete our records. Replace from the source. It's deleting the records and importing. 
Oh, but that didn't delete all the records today. No. Oh well. Anyway, maybe something I've got set wrong on the properties. So, uh, there you have it. Enjoy them. Um, it'll save you time. And it'll save your end user a great deal of time instead of typing everything in. So that's out about the import. I'll visit you next about the export components in the following tutorial. Thanks for spending this time with me. Please like, share, subscribe, put your questions or comments. I enjoy that. And uh, y'all have a great evening. And I'll see you again soon.